What is one of the most important but overlooked aspects of deciding which stories to include in your presentations? Well, the answer to that question can be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. I'm coming to you from the desert in Yuma, Arizona today. I come out here at least once a year to visit my parents, and I always make it a point to come out to the desert at least once. As you can hear, there's wind blowing. There's a little bit of noise in the background from cars, but for the most part, it's tranquil. This is a terrific place to come out and just think or free your mind. What does this have to do with speaking? I found in coaching many speakers is that they've got stories and they've got ideas that they want to share. What they often overlook though is why. Saying I want to help people or because it's a great story and people laugh is not a good enough reason by the way. One of the most important questions we ask our clients is why? But we don't just stop at the first answer. What I found is that we often have to dig several times asking that why question or variations of it, four, five, six levels before we get the deeper meaning of a story to an individual. Anybody can tell a story about overcoming adversity or a lesson learned from a sick family member or a success in business. What we want to do is dig underneath to say, why is that story so important to you? What's the emotional connection? Typically we find it is a lesson learned from a family member, someone important to you. When you can pass that deep lesson on to other people, that's where you make your deeper connections. As you develop your next speeches and stories, I strongly urge you to go find some solitude. You don't have to hop on a plane and fly out to the desert in Arizona. Any place you can get away from the noise and from people for a short time and ask yourself this important question, why is this important to me? Don't just stop at the first answer. Keep asking, keep digging, dig, dig, dig until you get down to one of your core beliefs and values. That's where you'll make the connection with your audience and that's what will make your message memorable. Until the next time from either the Arizona desert or our big speaking event in Las Vegas, keep standing up and speaking. I'll see you in our next daily dose of public speaking wisdom.